Hello, and welcome to A VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. It is January 24th, Tuesday. Great to have you here. Uh, so, super excited to be talking about this topic, which is why every voice actor needs a professional website. Now more than ever, this is paramount. We're going to go over four different reasons why you need a professional website and get into a little bit in those reasons what you need on that website. Okay, real quick before we get started, we are only like 20 some subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers. I'm so excited and grateful for you all. It's been a long time <laughs> to, to get to, to, to get to 10,000 and I'm so thankful uh, for everybody. So make sure if you haven't subscribed, yet please do um it would be an honor to have you as a subscriber also make sure you check below we have a 50 percent off deal for our first month uh for joining a vo's journey elite academy a wonderful place for you to learn at, to become a voice actor and grow your business with uh, tons of amazing opportunities um on top of just learning but also getting voiceover work so check that out below um, but let's let's dive into this uh, uh, topic because I think now more than ever it is ridiculously important. So number one of why you should uh, why every voice actor needs a professional website is because the importance of having a personal brand today and an online presence as a voice actor is vital to your success. We are being, the market is being just flooded, right, with competition from real voice actors to artificial voice actors like AI, right? It's just being flooded with lots of competition. So today, it's so vital that you create a personal brand for yourself that allows you to stand out from the crowd, so that when people are, when you're doing your work, when you are getting leads, when people are finding you, there's somewhere for them to go that says, you know, I'm working with this person, this real human, all right, and this is what they stand for. This is what their business is about, and I align with that. Okay, there is an there there's something here that you know we've got to state that you know human to human interaction. It was funny I was talking earlier with some of my students, um, so a couple different mentor students today about this, right? Human to human interaction is more important than ever. Relating to another person, having shared uh, values or opinions, you know, why we do something is more powerful than anything in the world, okay? So relating in that way has to be part of, or should be part of, because these are just my opinions. <laughs> so what I say, has to be, but should be a part of your brand and built into your website. So that's why, number one, it's important to have a personal brand and an online presence with, a, with the starting place being your website, OK, super key. So on your website, make sure that it exerts that information. All right. Number two, how a website can showcase your acting portfolio uh, and demo reel matters immensely from professional and branding standpoint. OK, so. All of the work that you're going to be doing, whether you put up your work on freelance websites, on pay-to-play websites, all right, whether you are uh, reaching out and building relationships through social media, uh, doing emailing, ever, ever, all of these things that you're doing, people are going to want to go and listen to your work. So the traditional brick-and-mortar store where people would come to your store right, and look at what you're selling – it's the same thing with the website. Having that demo, having your work, and having a variety of work, well thought out, well done, easy to access on your website, again, makes you stand out from the crowd. I can't tell you, I've worked with thousands of voice actors now, and, you know, 
getting a website is one thing, but making it uh, showcase your work, your portfolio in a manner that is attractive is a whole nother thing. All right. So it's really important to not only showcase your work on your website, but making it attractive and interesting for people to watch. Okay. Or listen to, excuse me. All right. Now, number three, I want to talk briefly about the role that your website takes in attracting new clients and opportunities. You know, I on the first couple of, of these, I've talked about how you putting yourself on other websites, you starting to build relationships through social, okay, and you doing direct marketing, all of these things that you're doing are pushing you towards people coming to your website, okay, people coming to see what you're all about, and possibly how can they work with you. But there are so many other things that you can do with your website to attract new clients. For example, everybody right now we live in, of course, we live in the information age. You know, I think the information age um, is power, Information is power. So with your website, how can you attract new clients other than just having your portfolio? Well, that's the key is information. Are you helping anyone beyond just doing voiceovers? Now, I'm not telling you to offer other services. What I mean by that is, you know, let's say that you're working, um, you know, a small company who sells air conditioning units. Okay, they are they would like to launch a 30 second um, social media ad. All right. And, you know, they have no idea how to do that, where to begin. What are the steps? You know, how do I you know, where do I even start? What, where do you know, how do I find uh, do I need a video production company? Can I do the video myself? Can I use stock footage? What is, what, is that even a thing? What programs do I use? Should I, how do I hire a voice actor? Do I need a voice actor? Should I use AI? Would that be easier? Because I just don't know how to even begin to find a voice actor. The point I'm trying to make here is, is that on your website, you can attract new clients by helping people get their get work for themselves doing the things that we do as voice actors we're like a cog in the wheel right we are part of a larger chain we just we're not by ourselves okay we don't just do one thing and that's done right you know we'll, we do audiobooks but there has to be a book there's got to be content written for us to do audiobooks if we do uh, a voiceover for a video any type of video the video has to exist Okay, if we do a radio spot, well, the content and the uh, the information for that radio um, channel and everything that has to exist. There has to be a client base. Okay, there's got to be something. There's we we are just a part of the wheel. We are not one and done. Which means that we need to become a place on our websites where people can go as a reference as a guide, and you can attract all sorts of new customers and clients by becoming that guide for them. What does that mean? Yes, that means you have to do some research. You've got to learn. Don't forget, please, whatever you do, this is a business. And the more helpful you are, okay, the more unique and branded you are, the better your business will thrive. There will there will be there's no there will be no concern about AI or anything else because people are coming to you because you are helping them succeed beyond just offering one random service in a larger wheel. Right. So that's a way that you can attract new customers and clients through your website by making creating a reference for people. You could do that on your blog. You can build different pages. You could build massive guides to help people, and people will find you. I mean, it, it really is an incredible opportunity. Um, sometimes we are so focused on finding business, and we should be, 
but we want to make sure that the way we're finding business too, right, is that we are attracting new clients to come to us. The reasons that they're going to come to us, we can make it more than just a voiceover. We can make them come back and back again and build a relationship with us because we are helping them beyond just one time and one voiceover. All right. So that's how I, I think a website is attracting new clients, you know, and 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 getting you new opportunities that you wouldn't normally. And this can be on any of those. I mean, I just used one random, uh, you know, 30 second social media ad. OK, it could be, I mean, so many different things. I mean, look, if you're into audiobooks, I mean, my goodness, how many authors are out there who no matter how many reference, how many places are out there, they're still looking for more information on how to write books, how to sell books, how to find a way to work with narrator, how to get an audio book. I don't even, they don't even know how to upload it to ACX or should they use ACX? Should they also go to find away voices or should they be using YouTube? How do they do that? How do they make money? All of these things. And by the way, in your time that you research this, this will be so valuable for you to learn about these processes, which will then help you also market your voiceover work. All right, let's do number four. So uh, number four is, I think, the... I have on here like the tip. I, I, I'm kind of listing the number four, which were tips for creating a website that effectively showcases your voice acting skills. So I want to give you a couple here to make sure for the layout of your website, because I think this is important to talk about. Um, for better or for worse, you should have at least a one page website that looks good. Okay. That showcases your work, meaning that you have your demos up on there. You have a picture of yourself, uh, any work that you might have done, uh, how they can get, people can get a hold of you. Okay, um, you don't have to put your pricing on there. That goes back and, you know, you can, you don't have to. Um, I often sometimes think that if you put your pricing up there, it can help at the same time, you know, you want to make people let, or I like to let people know I'm willing to negotiate. They might have a budget and they might feel like if you have your budget up there, it might be hard, you know, like a hard number. However, a lot of people are tired of, not knowing what's going on, right? I mean, they like to look and see what's happening. So it's something that you can try out or at least give a range. So that like, so one page, first page, that's important. However, I believe that you need to have a landing page, your, your, your front page, your website. You should have categories of voiceover work that you do. Unless you want to build one website that is a niche site, which is okay, or multiple websites that focus on one thing, which would help you in some senses, um, you know, dive further into one area and, and target it, uh, which will be a little bit easier. The only challenge with that is you've got to create a lot of different websites. But basically, you know, I like the idea of six to eight different pages for your website. Those pages are your categories of work that you do, right? Whether it's e-learning or we talked about just talked about social media ads or video game characters, you know, or um, podcasting, you know, or a TV, radio, that that sort of thing, okay? Meditation, etc. So you can have these pages. And through those pages, okay, those can be guides for each one of those. They can be a look at the work that you do for each one of those, right? So you have some sort of sampling on those pages along with some descriptions of what you work that you do and what helps with that. You can build a guide on those pages, meaning like, you know, hey, you know, this is typically for this industry. And, you know, here's a couple of tips and tricks that you can do when hiring a voice actor and how to use that in this type of marketing or e-learning or et cetera. Then you need a blog. The, the purpose of a blog, okay, it has multiple reasons. One, it brands you, okay, and the style in which you deliver messages. And also it drives traffic. It breeds new opportunities, Okay, you need something that you can, you know, publish new content to to drive traffic from Google from people searching. Okay, that's where you can put more information for new clients, targeting new areas. I mean, you can go all over the place. It's really exciting. 
Okay. Um, and then, of course, there are the different types of um, uh, resources that you offer on your website. You know, for example, we talked about the audiobooks. Maybe you have a, in your navigation tab at the top of the page, you have a single page that uh, gives a bunch of different resources that people can go to that page to look for where to publish something or where to get information here on this or what pr general pricing is over here and you have links and stuff. The importance of that is that people will then visit your website regularly because it is a resource for them, all right? Because they need it. And then through that, you can build a relationship and market to them because they need your website. Does that make sense? I hope that, that this video has given you a lot to think about when it comes to you know, why you need a professional website and the difference between just having something thrown up there and a website that can bring you lots of opportunities and work, okay? I want to point out one last thing. This is a lot of work. This takes time. It takes consistent effort. You know, I'm working on Academy Voices right now, which is the agency for or the 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 online talent agency for Academy, uh, our Elite Academy members. So everybody who joins the Vio's Journey Elite Academy, besides, you know, learning how to grow your voiceover business, you're also, uh, it, you can be in our Academy Voices, which, you know, I market and bring in voiceover work. We're trying to build out this website and, and add more and grow, putting things on, you know, doing things to make it professional and to generate new opportunities. So this is something that I find very near and dear to my heart, you know, because I'm doing it every day on top of my own website that I have, all right? Um, this is, to me, more important now than ever, also because of AI and the fact that the market is flooded with a lot. That doesn't mean there's not, I mean, look, there's tons of work out there. I mean, I, I, I had a great January. There's lots of work out there, good paying jobs, Really, there is. And, you know, we've talked, I mean, that's all I did talking to channels, how to get work, you know, whether it's through websites like Voices.com or Fiverr or wherever, or, you know, through social media or through your website, uh, through LinkedIn, wherever you're finding your work, there is work out there, tons of it. But I'm trying to set us up for the future so that you build a brand and a professional website to where you stand out, that people come to you specifically because they know you, they know what you're about, and they trust you. That's what a brand is, is trust. And the trust takes time, right? So that's why brands take time. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Stop, you know me, again, starting to preach, getting on my box. You guys are amazing. Thank you again. Remember to check out that link below for VO's Journey Elite Academy. We'd love to have you be a part of it. Uh, and also, if you subscribe, I would really appreciate it if you haven't already. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. I'm so excited. I feel like I should do something. I don't know. Maybe I'd consider it. Maybe post in the comments below what we should do. We hit 10,000 subscribers if you're interested. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday. I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.